Hi, this is David. I want to do a, a video on uh, resigning from the Mormon Church. There's a long history that the Mormon Church is extremely punitive and extremely uh, interested in punishment. If you question their doctrine or their people in charge, uh, you're going to be punished. And historically, the punishment can range from uh, the bishop calling you in and putting you on uh, probation, which means you can't take the sacrament and uh, you may be on for a week, a month, three months, whatever. And then you come back in and the bishop then feels if you've repented, uh, your probation is therefore over. Um, the other thing is that a bishop uh, has the authority to, uh, in the Mormon church, to excommunicate women. He can just arbitrarily and capriciously on his own. He needs no approval from anybody. Uh, he may be a truck driver. He may be a bricklayer. He may be a landscape specialist as a trade. Have no experience whatsoever in human services or in any kind of an educational uh, format. Uh, and he can just go ahead and say to a woman, well, I just feel that, uh, you know, this is behavior unbecoming a Latter-day Saint woman, and I'm going to excommunicate you. Uh, the other thing is that men uh, cannot be um, excommunicated by a bishop. Men can only be executed by, um, or executed, excommunicated. I think it is, ex <laughs> executed is the better word, but anyway, a man has to go to the uh, state president and the high council of 12, so 13 of them basically vote uh, on whether a man should be um, excommunicated or disfellowshipped. Uh, and uh, disfellowshipped is kind of an in-between probation and uh, excommunication. And so, um, <clears throat> historically, the church has always used that to uh, punish uh, people that uh, if you're called in, uh, you're going to get screwed. Uh, there's, there's very little uh, chance that you're going to be found innocent of anything. This is like a military court. Uh, they use their own rules, their own regulations. You're not allowed to have attorneys. And there's no rules of the court. <laughs> and uh, the state president and the uh, high council can question you. Uh, you can't cross-examine anybody. Uh, you may bring a witness, <laughs> but after you're excommunicated, the witnesses are going to be excommunicated. Uh, many of the people who uh, have been excommunicated, which I never have, I've never been in the courts or whatever, they have a great big uh, stack of papers, and the, and the uh, state president said, well, you know, these are all the people who have written to us and certified that you need to be excommunicated, and then the accused will say, well, could I see that evidence? And the state president said, it's confidential. <laughs> so you have no ability to cross-examine. You have no ability to reasonably present any information, call witnesses, cross-examine. But it's called a court of love. <laughs> Jeez. I used to believe this crap. It's not a court of love. It's a court of hate. And you're going to lose your wife and your children and your job and your income, your self-esteem, your prestige. You may lose your house, your car. And this is a court of love because they think you're going to want to get back so much that you're going to repent and come begging to them to let you back in. Well, there's the history of the power of the Mormon church over its people. Now, there's been um, some court cases, and uh, rightfully so, that this is not a, a fair and equitable way to treat anybody. It's like a Nazi concentration camp. So the courts of the United States have stripped the legal ability um, to have people excommunicated from the Mormon church if the people resign first. Resigning from the Mormon church, uh, you can get on details. I'm not going to go into the details, but I did. I, I resigned from the Mormon church. And basically, you, all you have to do is, in writing, say, I resigned from the Mormon church. I do not want to be a member. Please take my name off the record, sign it, and hand it to your bishop. Now, the law says, now the law says. Now, the Mormon church... <laughs> 
They don't obey the law. They, ne they never have. <laughs> oh my God. The law says once you hand that to the bishop, you're out. You're out. The Mormon church has absolutely no power to excommunicate you, humiliate you, or embarrass you. And that the Mormon church is bound by the law of the land. Well, that particular document, and it can be done now uh, with email uh, to Greg Dodge up in uh, Salt Lake City. And he's the person <laughs> that's inundated with resignations all day long. Well, here's what the church does. Um, they still like their power. They still like to think they have power. They're stripped naked. <laughs> the, the courts have said, you're out. <laughs> and so what the church does is they send you uh, a letter. Um, and sometimes it'll take two weeks, six weeks, a couple of months, uh, that says you uh, uh, have asked for your name to be removed from the records of the church, and therefore your baptism <laughs> has been dissolved. Now, I don't know if they put a hair dryer, <laughs> wipe the water off you, dry you. I don't know how they do that with a piece of paper. But they say that your, uh, your baptism is dissolved and they say that all of your temple uh, ordinances are dissolved, <laughs> which means you're not married to your wife in the church. Your kids are gonna be given to another man. And you are basically going into the Mormon outer darkness. And um, that's a pretty traumatizing uh, letter to get from the Mormon church. But with the letter <laughs> comes their pamphlet of, of hilarity. Now, anyone that has resigned from the Mormon church, believe me, do not do that lightly or quickly. They do that after a lot of research, a lot of studying, and a lot of uh, wrestling with their mind and their heart and their family. And uh, it's a decision that's very hard to come to. And it's kind of like jumping out of an airplane. Uh, once you do it, uh, you can't really climb back. And uh, so their, their letter uh, pamphlet says, uh, we want you to come back. <laughs> sure they do. They want your tithing and they want the power over you. And basically they say, we are referring your case to the bishop and the state president. Would you please contact them? Well, that's just a bullshit. <laughs> letter. You don't have to contact the bishop. You don't have to contact the state president. And basically, if you have said in your letter, uh, no further contact from the Mormon church, only the letter uh, certifying that I'm out, they must obey that. Well, you don't go see the bishop. <laughs> you don't go see the state president. You're done. <laughs> you say, homie, don't play this game. <laughs> So you're done. Well, they try to intimidate you for 30 days. Uh, you're already <laughs> out of the church. And the only people that don't believe it are the Mormons. Everybody else knows that you're out and they have no authority over you anymore. And so you wait that 30-day period and uh, they will send you a letter, basically, that says you're out. You don't have to have any further uh, contact uh, with the bishop or the stake president. Um, One of the other things um, that I want to say quickly is that basically the resigning in the church saves people <laughs> the stupid humiliation of an excommunication. When you resign, you're in charge. When you're excommunicated, <laughs> you're basically in Auschwitz. <laughs> the church has decided who you can talk to, who you can see, where you can attend. You can't take sacrament or, uh, you know, pay tithing. Like you're, <laughs> you're not allowed to have the privilege of paying tithing. What resigned member of the church is going to say, I want to leave because this is all a lie, but I want to still pay you guys. <laughs> so it's, it's nut stuff. It is really nut stuff. So if you want to resign from the Mormon church, all you have to do is write him a th two or three sentence letter, hand it to the bishop, and you're out right there. And you can send, sign your kids out if you want. Now, I'm not, I'm not um, uh, advocating that. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to pull anybody out of the Mormon church. I don't care if you're in the Mormon church. If you like it and it floats your boat and you're a happy person there and it brings you peace and contentment and love, for God's sakes, don't look at this video. <laughs> go back to do your home teaching and go back to your elders quorum presidency. Um,
I'm just telling you what I did. I'm telling you what these eyes have seen, these ears have heard, and with my education and background of being a Mormon for over 50 years, I'm telling you that it is a, a, a position that you can resign, just like if it was a job. Now, there are hundreds of thousands of people resigning from the Mormon church every year. Um, Greg Dodge's office has expanded and um, they're overwhelmed. People <laughs> in civilized countries can be on the internet like this with a camera and sound and tell their story and tell the truth of what they've experienced. And then people who are seeing the missionaries can go to their missionaries and say, well, this is what we've heard. This is what we've seen. You can go to the internet and you can check anybody on the internet um, if what we're saying is true. Then you can decide for yourself. If you're desperate and you're lonely and uh, you know, you're having a problem in your life, maybe the Mormon church is a place to uh, go. Uh, it will eventually, as a cult, uh, I think, poison you and it could possibly destroy you if you don't just shut your mouth, bow your head, uh, and say yes. So resignation is a process and those that are being threatened with excommunication and humiliation can just simply give them a letter and beat them to it. Beat them to it. Now there is a um, belief among active Mormons and they're taught this that the only people who leave the church are people who are excommunicated. Most Mormons don't know of the resigning process of the Mormon church. That's been hidden from the members of the church. Now, how uh, serious is this um, process? Let me tell you, when I was thinking of getting a doctorate, uh, I decided to maybe go to BYU because I had uh, connections there, etc. And when I applied for a doctorate um, degree at BYU and they found out that I was a resigned member of the church, I was the only class of persons that cannot attend BYU. So that's how serious the church takes resigned members. We've done our research, we know what we're doing, and we know that basically it's a fraud. And we they are totally terrorized of us. If you don't think they're watching these videos, if you don't think they're running them through committees, if you don't think they're looking for ways to stop me and the thousands and thousands of other people, you're nuts. This is a dangerous cult they will take control unless people resign. And when you resign, then you're in charge and the Mormon church uh, takes it on the chin. And uh, they don't like that. The Mormon church is uh, into control and into uh, ruining your life. When you ruin their reputation, um, they're extremely hostile. And you do have to uh, be careful because they will, uh, they've already taught your family to shun you and hate you. There's a big price that I paid and every other person pays if they resign. But that's the process of resigning in the Mormon church. Thank you.